Welcome back, guys, to the Grand Podcast. Oh, oh, hold on. Forgot my podcast glasses. Welcome back, guys, to the Grand Podcast, because that's the name now with the little stutter in it. Gotta say it right from now on. I'm Devin Erko, and I will be taking you through some of my history and some of my current standings on TNI. Today, specifically, I'll be telling you about my history with MP. So, MP, as I mentioned last podcast a long time ago, if you haven't watched that, go watch that. Uh, I had joined and l- I have joined and left MP two times, or had joined and left MP two times, because I've joined and left since then, making it a total of three times. So why have I been joining and leaving? Is the first thing to cover. So, well, first thing to cover is how I joined MP in the first place. So a long time ago. As I mentioned in the last podcast, Devin Erko was a lowly corporal in the Nighthawk Imperium, but he knows about this cool little thing called MP, and they have a lot of power and they have a lot of respect, because back then we were only in the triple digits in MP members uh, when I joined. I believe I joined at like... 800, 700, maybe 400, I don't know, somewhere around there. Wasn't quite to a thousand yet, uh, so it was still a big deal to be an MP. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to be an MP no matter what. So I do. I go and I apply, and I didn't pass. I went and applied again didn't pass. I went and applied one more time, didn't pass. That went on for 12 times. It took me 12 attempts to get the application totally correct. And what I would do, and what you should do if you want to join MP, is fill out the test, but record all your answers on a piece of paper, and whatever one is wrong, change it copy and paste everything back in because it's so much work to have to redo all the answers when it's so easy just to copy and paste and then redo that one or two or three answers that you got wrong and it actually helps because last time they didn't tell me what I was getting wrong the first time I joined because they didn't have that kind of thing in place yet. Now they do. Now they tell you explicitly on the form what you got wrong. And that's so, so useful because I was just, I had to go through all my answers and the guidelines side by side and make sure this matches with this, this matches with this, all the way through. So that was not a fun time, let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, who knows? People could like that kind of stuff. Not me. I like how they tell you what question you got wrong now so that I can just hone in on that one question. Um, yeah. So I got it wrong 12 times. And I also, it, it, when I got in, it took me three tries on an endless evaluation to get in. Now, this was around the point where I was literally playing th- with my laptop on my lap using the laptop keyboard. So, as it was, it was a bad time. Um, I think, let's see, what did I get wrong? I think NLR I got wrong a few times because I always play it safe. That means 
when I die, I don't typically punish somebody who, like, killed me or something. Even if I'm 80% sure they died, I still don't punish them because I want to play it safe and, you know, not get in trouble. Don't do that. Don't do that. It doesn't matter. MP, here's the thing you have to know about MP. MP, y they have a good system in place so that you can make a mistake and typically it won't be the end of your career. I don't know if I've made a mistake yet. That's actually been extremely detrimental to my career. Uh, even though I've made many mistakes, and one's actually on a video that I've made about the Grand Crossing. And it was actually brought up in the MP Discord not too long ago. And, you know, uh, this guy was like, hey, this guy's video... Now, keep in mind, this was the last time I was MP. So... I was... It, it was like... A few months ago. This guy was like, hey, I found this MP's video on YouTube and he broke some rules. What do I do to report it? I look, it's my video, but it's my video from two years ago. I had been MP two times since then. I think I've actually been MP four times, sorry, because I was at three times. I left for Red Cell twice, uh, but that that's that's farther into the story. Anyways, so I'm a new MP. So I had something in my eye. I'm a new MP, and I uh, I made some mistakes. I did, uh, but you know, I was a new MP. Uh, I was one of those MP that are ba that were bad at combat. Uh, that I always that I made fun of for a little bit because uh, it's kind of funny when MP are bad at combat because uh, it's not like they can hit a taser shot every time or hit their shots every time so a lot of times it's just them shooting towards you, near you, I don't know not really hitting. I also think it's funny uh, when MP are on mobile, like when there are mobile MP users, I've never really gotten that. I've never really gotten the need to get into MP so bad that you have to get into it on mobile because it's very, very challenging to do. Um, I I don't even know how people do combat on mobile. Honestly, it, it seems ridiculous. Um... But anyways, so I get into MP that first time, and I'm in it for a while. I'm in it from the time that, I think a few months before I make my morph showcase video, or uh, my first one with the where I showcase the MP morph, uh, my biggest video actually, it's gotten like 20 something thousand views. Um, but I have MP from then, up until when the units get disbanded. Because I loved Recon. It was a great thing going. I, I was trying to get, you know, higher up in Recon, maybe Recon HC or something. And they disbanded it, and I was mad as a lot of other people were and like thousands of people went over to red cell because they were you know upset with this and I did too for a time I went over to red cell I thought well the units are gone guess all that there's really to do now is to go over to red cell and maybe do some more showcase videos over there but so I go over to Red Cell for a time, and then I return a few months later, maybe a year 
And around this time, I was getting into the SLT program, and I don't know, I've always liked hosting events in the MP Morph. It makes it a lot easier to enforce event stuff, like if they're not getting out of um, out of the STS, kind of tase them a little bit, wake them up, like, hey, kid, you're not attending, or, like, I don't know, if a, if a cadet is being unruly in the STS, uh, tase them. But I've always been a big fan of that, so I decided to get into MP again when I got into the SLT program. And I do. I get into MP again. Uh, it didn't take as many tries that time. I believe it only took three application tries. And... Mm, it might have taken a little bit on the EE. But it definitely wasn't as challenging as the first one. I get in. Um, I believe that's the first time my video is brought up as like, hey, what are you doing? Uh, no, that the third time I was in it, a different video got brought up. A more recent video. But I'll get to that. Second time, you know, I vibe as an MP. I'm also an SLT. I host events. It's great. I end up leaving again. Uh, this time because I actually legitimately wanted to make Red Cell Morph Showcase videos. Well, you know how that went. I didn't really showcase any morphs for Red Cell. But then again, I didn't have many to showcase, so... Uh, but I come back to MP, I don't know, another six months later? And this time I get in, probably same difficulty as... <coughs> pretty much same difficulty as number two. I get in, and... Soon after I get in, this guy brings it up in the chat room and actually pings me and he's like, hey, why the heck were you outside? And he was talking about my Avenger video, which if you had watched, the Avenger morph bugged and I was spawned inside the hideout, but I was hanging out with a bunch of citizens with weapons, my subscribers. Uh, I was a little bit of a special event, you know, Avenger showcase. Uh, but this really ticked this guy off. And he was like, hey, you were not supposed to be outside and you were, would, you, you, you were supposed to either get inside as soon as possible or kill them in your hideout and then go outside or, or inside as soon as possible. And that's actually the reason why I left MP. I was never banned. I believe some MP officers and HG took my side. Um, cause you know, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm an influential part. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I ended up leaving because I'm like, I don't know if I want to be a part of this anymore. So that was the final time that I left. That was a year ago. And I didn't look back until last, um, last February, when my, uh, my friend, uh, I know him from TDC, you might know him too, uh, Draco Decan, or Draco Decan, or however you pronounce his name. I, I, I always like to say Draco Decan. Uh, you might say Draco Deacon, who knows. He was a, he, I think he still is, he's a superintendent, or just an intendant. Um, chill dude. I was on VC with him, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to fly for MP again. And he's like, good idea. So I go on, I apply, I fail. Totally fine. They give me what answer I did bad on. I look at the answer, I'm like, oh, this is what I got wrong. I change it, get in my second try. I apply, or I, I go, I the day that I get into MP, 
I find a EE going on. I go into the EE, I get a question wrong in the question portion. I'm dismissed. It's a okay. Not the end of the world. I remember what question I got wrong. It was. What was it? It wasn't. It, w it wasn't that challenging. Uh, it was kind of stupid that I got it wrong. Stupid of me, not of the host. So I got it wrong. Got dismissed. Then about an hour later, another E is being hosted. I go to that, get the question right this time, and I end up passing that E and getting in. So that's how I got in 10P uh, the day that my application was accepted. Which was, it was fun, you know? I was an MP again. And that lasted for a singular month. Because, <laughs> and, um, because at the time I was big on combat. And I thought that. And I, there was probably a very good chance that I could get into RCSF. Because I was big on combat. I was doing it probably every day. Um, I was practicing and practicing. And I wasn't that bad. So I end up leaving MP. Uh, this was the same time frame that I was leaving TDC and all the stuff like that. Um, TDC is another gun clan if you didn't know. Um, anyways, so I left MP to try to become an RCSF. Now we arrive at the point, will I join again? Yes. I fully intend to join MP again sometime in the future. But right now, I'm not focusing and prioritizing that. I just got into community. I want to become a community department member. And who knows, work my way up. Because, I don't know. I kind of like the community HC. They're, 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 they're nice. Veiled, you know. Veiled is not... <laughs> not the, uh... Not the scariest admiral to talk to. He's kind of, He's approachable. Uh, he's not the most active in his GMs, but Benny I talk to, and he's, um, he's, he's, he's a nice dude. He, he responded to my GMs, and he actually gave me the YouTuber role in the Nighthawk Imperium Discord server, and, you know, so now I'm working on community and I'm trying to get up to a community department, like I said, and hopefully maybe someday become a community colonel. Uh, that's my ultimate goal in community. It will probably take months months of work, but I'm ready. So thank you for watching guys. I believe that's all the time we have. And which is good because that's all the info that I have. If you like this, please go and like and subscribe. And also comment down below what you want me to talk to you about next podcast. Uh, be sure to watch the previous podcast though as well so that you can know what I have not talked about yet or what you want me to go into more detail on. Because last time I mentioned MP but I didn't go into this much detail on the history of me in the military police. Anyways, um, other than that, join the Discord. It's a pretty hop in place. And join the Roblox group. I also have a giveaway going on. Uh, it ends in, on Monday. So be sure to go and check that out. Um, and I will see you guys next video. Have a nice day, and I will see you guys next time.